The submarine Ictino II, an engineering masterpiece, was designed and built by a Spanish artist and engineer, Narcisse Monturiol, in the 1860s. His first submarine prototype, the Ictineo I, was built a few years earlier and launched in 1859. Monturiol's objective was to build a vessel that would aid coral divers in their work, making it more efficient and less dangerous. The Ictineo I vessel was propelled by a helical screw turned by hand. The design of the submarine was inspired by the shape of fish. While studying them, Monturiol found the form he considered most suitable for his invention from the point of view of hydrostatics and navigation. This was the ellipsoid. He named his invention Ictineo from the ancient Greek words ichthys and naus, meaning fish and boat. The best features of the Ictineo I were used and improved in the Ictineo II. With its innovative propulsion system, this submarine was a great step forward in the development of underwater navigation. It featured a system in which the steam engine was also fully functional underwater. The most innovative feature of the Ictineo II was its propulsion system. It featured a six-cylinder steam engine, three cylinders of which were operated by a coal boiler and were used for navigation on the water. The other three cylinders, which were operated by a special boiler, were used for immersion. In this boiler, water was heated by a chemical reaction that occurs between zinc, manganese, and potassium chlorate. This reaction generated heat, which was used to heat water and generate steam, while the oxygen produced in the reaction was necessary for the crew. The steam engine drove the propeller at the rear of the submarine. Monturiol faced so many financial problems that the company founded for the construction of the Ectino II ended up bankrupt. The submarine was acquired by a businessman who ordered it to be dismantled to avoid paying taxes and sold it as scrap parts. The steam engine ended up in a textile mill.